Hey guys, it's she. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Ending live video, and welcome to Lethal Weapon 2 starring James Shields. Got his 2012 war card, got it to a plus 2, leveled it up, uh, let's see, level 17, almost level 18. So I'll get a little bit more of a boost once he levels up again. But his current says 96 command, 100 break, 97 stuff. 88 velocity. He's got six pitches, all B grade. Um, now, certainly, I've played with him a lot. I'm recording this intro after I did the gameplay with him. But let's look at his action battle stats 17 and 3, uh, 1.98 ERA in 41 innings. That means he's given up. Let's see, it would be nine runs in 41 innings. He has 35 strikeouts, and he has walked three batters. I'd say the walks were all more or less intentional in uh, you know situations where I was like, okay, I'm not going to throw the guy a strike. I'm just going to give him the walk. Let's say you got a guy on second. Well, you want to make it first and second so you can get a double play, get out of things, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he's been pretty good for me so far, and in the gameplay, I'm sure we'll see more of the same with that. And here we are now with the gameplay. We are doing ranked battle. Basically, we played a bunch, and finally James Shields showed up as my starting pitcher. Yeah, you know, we're just going to see what he can do. This is post-commentary, but I recorded this. Like, this is the first time I'd used James Shield. So this is before, you know, I had him play in a bunch of games and honestly do pretty well. So I'm going to start this batter off with the cutter. And, of course, it's one of those dinker singles. Now... In ranked up to head, I honestly do pretty well with dinker singles, but when I give them up, I always hate that. You know, bring the two seam up and in. I get the force out. Runner beats it out at first. Uh, one of those animations where I feel like it would be more natural for him to come across the bag, get out of the way of the slide, and throw it to first in a more fluid motion. But I digress. He doesn't chase the curveball low. We're going to go a four-seamer, try to paint it. We got the guy stealing, but the pitch is fouled off. We're going to go the slider, stealing again, but another foul. I'm going to try a pickoff, and now he's not stealing, at least not on that pitch. Now I've got a substitution. Uh, I took a brief look at my team, but there's no need to substitute. This is all about lethal weapon number two, which is James Shields. Uh, we're now facing Miguel Cabrera. I forgot if we were facing him or not, and there we go. I get the pickoff. Didn't really need to go for it because I'm trying to show off Shields' uh, pitching prowess. But I get him to chase the curveball, weak ground out to the pitcher. Uh, we'll wrap up with my batting. I'm pretty sure I didn't do much, but we can watch it anyways. Uh, final review on James Shields. So of course, since I recorded this gameplay and I uh, am doing this audio, I also recorded the intro. Uh, I've used James Shields a lot more. He's pretty good the curveball is definitely nice um one thing i haven't gotten on my staff yet on my upgraded pitchers that i'll probably need to get somewhere is a sinker but the curveball is very functional um in terms of when he gives up hits and runs look there's just people who are really good at the game and if you're good at the game you you can get a hit off of almost any pitcher. I was playing a game earlier, like before I recorded this, 
within the last half hour, this guy was spamming knuckle curves, and I was actually hitting his knuckle curves. Now, they were, like, degrade from a base pitcher. Not the sharpest knuckle curves, not, like, A-grade or anything, but it's just part of the game. I'd say the fact that he's 17-3, and three, the fact that I've won 17 games with him as my pitcher says a lot. It says that um, yeah, he's a good pitcher. I'd say for the most part, he can be relied on. And that's really what you can hope for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learning a little bit more about uh, the Ward James Shields. If you did, leave a like. If you have any more questions about him, drop a comment, let me know. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning Live content, along with Lethal Weapons 3 through 5, where I reveal my three remaining starting pitchers that I'm adding to the staff. But anyways, guys, I'm G. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, peace out.